doctor, but she always makes her own ice rink as well. It's Dr. Marjorie Dixon. <laughs> I'm impressed. We're all like, oh, that's such a dude thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not for Dr. Dixon. She does I'm her from own. Quebec, man. Everybody that's has true. an ice rink. I yes. played ringette. Do you even know what that is? Yes, I do. Okay, just checking. That's amazing. <laughs> Good for you. You're a winter gal. Winter chick. Now, we want to talk a bit about uh, the, the body image when you are having a baby. So, you know, women take a hit on their body image all the time. But when you're having a baby, it can be um, an interesting time in your life. You've probably never gained that amount of weight in that short amount of time before. Yeah. And your body is truly quite alien um, for, for nine, ten mm -hmm. months of your life. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about evaluating the baby bump. Everyone has a different bump. Yeah. It's a different size. Yeah. I wanted to have the two stick legs with just a basketball in my belly. Yeah. It, it didn't, didn't work happen. out yeah, like that. It didn't happen to me either. It so, doesn't happen to most women. And I think that what's interesting about the baby bump is, you know, people say all kinds of things about baby bumps, but there are some interesting information that can be gleaned from a baby bump from a yeah. physician's perspective and from a healthcare provider perspective. Okay. So it's not just like you look at it and you say, that's a pretty baby bump. You look at it and you can kind of start to assess certain things. For example, when you go to your doctor prenatally yeah. and you're having your visits after about 16 weeks, they start taking a tape measure out. Mm -hmm. The thing they're not undertaking, they're actually going to measure from your symphysis pubis, so from your pubic bone, mm -hmm. up until the top of your uterus. And there are different milestones that you're expected to achieve to show normal growth. But of right. course, that's growth with one baby, right? right? So if there's more than one baby, it looks different. If the baby is in a different uh, lie in the pelvis. So women have different shaped pelvises, right? Some women have what we call a gynecoid pelvis. The pelvis is nice and open. Some have a platypaloid, which is flat. Mm -hmm. um, or android, which is more like a, a guy-shaped hip pelvis. Mm. And babies will sit differently in those types of pelvises. So what people see on the outside and have started to say, oh, that's a boy, or man, you're looking big, or oh, right. that's really small. Well, yeah. yeah, but it also means different things. And only a healthcare provider can really make a woman worry or not worry about the significance of it. And that that's why they're measuring it because and they know certain things. Yes, looking for it's certain growth parameters milestones. for the baby. So you're looking for right. milestones. So it should be at the umbilicus, you know, at 24 weeks, at okay. the belly button at 24 okay, weeks. All right. It should be at the xiphoid process, you know, the edge of your rib cage right. at 37 weeks. Uh, Optimally. Optimally. But now we also have other tools. We have ultrasound to see baby growth. Mm -hmm. And then there are other reasons. If you have more than one baby, then it's going to do different things. You'll look bigger sooner. If you right. have a fibroid on your ears, a lot of women have fibroids, you'll look more pregnant sooner. And not everybody really wants it to be pointed out that <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're due any day I now. I know, right? And it's like, no, actually, I have three months to go. Exactly. And then different pregnancies. So at, when you have your first baby and your muscles are taut and you haven't had, you know, We've talked about this in the past with something called diastasis recti. So yes. the muscles come apart and whoop, the uterus comes out sooner, so you look more pregnant sooner. But mm -hmm. in that first pregnancy when everything is just being trained to stretch a little and you look kind of like you might have some gas instead yeah. of really having a baby. And people cute. not really, you look cute and you look cuter longer. Yeah. And if you think about, you know, the next baby, so for me, I've had three. So the second baby, people kind of were like, looking at me differently <laughs> sooner because my muscles had relaxed a little, my abdominal wall was used to the idea of getting distended. Right. And then by the third baby, I just, whatever. Because <laughs> I gained do so many pounds every body, time. Like, whatever. What it is. So it depends on how many babies, where you are in your pregnancy, yeah. if you have fibroids, if there's lots of fluid, if there's too little fluid, all of these things will impact what your baby bump looks like. We are, you know, more and more influenced by the images that we see on television and on film. And you know, a lot of these uh, Hollywood actresses and, and singers mm -hmm. are walking around with the two stick legs and the, the perfect yeah. basketball belly. It's, so It's orchestrated, though. So, we so always, how does that happen? Is so it just that they just <laughs> eat lettuce for 10 months? No, or, so like, why is that happening? Every pregnancy starts out small. So yeah. when they first published that, whatever, they put it on Facebook or Twitter, the shot where they're like all cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, so they'll do that at 16 weeks. They'll do that early yes. so that they'll look pregnant enough and then they kind of often go into hiding. Have you not noticed? You oh, sometimes see people true. and then they go away and next thing you know they have the baby and then you see them three months later. Right. It's all organized and they take the right pictures but we don't realize, you know, TV's orchestrated. Right. Media things can be orchestrated. So I wish we, I could have orchestrated mine. I know, man. I know. <laughs> and I had to keep coming in here. <laughs> Everybody was able to document it, right? It's like, I, I had a lab coat that I would wear over my, because I didn't want ever to be right. in everybody's You're in a fertility space. I'm in a fertility clinic, clinic right? right? And at the, it was funny because then I'd go back after I had the baby and people were like, 
you've lost weight. You were really fat beforehand. <laughs> and I'm like, actually, I, I was, was a having child. a baby. <laughs> so, so I think that people do share. Yeah. But if you think about the Hollywood, the way that everything's organized, so we can't they got hold ourselves to that. And you know what? Some people are just genetically that way. Like sure. I have friends who are not Hollywoodites, but who have skinny little legs and had little basketballs and mm -hmm. whatever you know who you are. I'm not your friend anymore. But you know, like that. Those <laughs> are, I'm kidding. I'm still their friends. But the different people have different. It didn't happen to me. It didn't happen to you. We gained weight. We've got pictures of you, actually. Yeah. So, um, and you're gorgeous. I will still, so this is, we can play a game. Yeah, so, so your first picture is my, how, how many months pregnant are you? So you have to guess how pregnant. Guess how pregnant I was in there. I don't know. It's my third S pregnancy. Seven, six months? Thanks. I was four and a half. So that, but half. see, but that's it. So there, guess how pregnant. This is a different pregnancy. I don't know, same, same. I gave birth four days after that shot. <gasps> See? So it, the second baby, okay. I, I got bigger later. Yeah. The third baby, I was like, we better take these pictures now, because <laughs> I know where I'm headed. And you do the test, and you're like, hey, sooner. can we do photos now? Yeah, so that's just to <laughs> I say. I found out yesterday, let's do the photos today. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then the whole thing about being able to tell whether it's a boy or a girl, people walk up. I was on a cruise, yeah. and a, a, a drunk lady walked up yeah. to me. <laughs> no, really. It's and a cruise. She, it's a cruise. They had buckets of beer and a football helmet. I'm not making this up. Mm -hmm. And she walks me, she goes, oh, you're having a baby so nice and I'm like yeah I am she goes how pregnant are you I'm like I'm only four months pregnant she's like you're not four months pregnant you're gonna get birth any minute and I'm like, hey. <laughs> like okay <laughs> People take liberties when you're having a baby. So we are going to talk about some of your comments. We went out on social media and we've all been through it. We're going to do that later in the show. So stay tuned for that. Thanks.